Charissima è la cosa, l'amante qui sarà. Charissima è la cosa, l'amante qui sarà. You go to theater to see relationships and to see the the intricacies of how humans interact. And I think there is no better show in the operatic repertoire than The Marriage of Figaro. I decided to choose Figaro this year mainly because we had the right voices to do it. The main characters are the Countess, Susanna, Figaro, the Count, or Young. They're very close to the age of these singers. There's an immediacy about that and a certain charm and a freshness in seeing young people play these roles. There is so much honesty to these people. You see a character like, like the Count, who it's so easy to dislike him, but also you're like, wow, I have a lot of those bad characteristics myself. This plot happens over and over and over again in a different setting every single day, and it's so relatable to so many different people, and so many people feel the same way about it today that the Countess would have felt about it in that day. There's a tremendous humanity to it, and to the characters and the situations the characters are in. The contrast between the wealthy and the not so wealthy, the, the masters and the servants, there's great humor in it. There, is, uh, there are farcical elements. It's, it's kind of like a sitcom, but with depth to it. There's a couple of spots in which it's just, just heaven. Music has this power of carrying you in some other universe, in some other life. I mean, because when you're watching the opera, you're living their lives. It hadn't been done here ever in Italian, and I felt that it would be a good to do a classic piece like this in the original language. The stress of the language and the sentences go with the music. So a lot of times, we, when we've worked in coachings, you know, we've been reminded to just go with the language, and so the music helps that. To me, the singer's job is the most difficult job on earth, because uh, imagine uh, that you are singing in a different language while you're acting with heavy costumes and with light and with makeup and everything else. Every time that I get to sing with orchestra, it kind of is a slight reminder of like, oh, that's right, that's what is so beautiful about being in this line of work. If you haven't seen an opera, you should make this your first opera because it's masterpiece theater. Timeless. I absolutely think this opera is timeless. I mean, every time that I have to conduct Figaro, I go from joy to tears to giggling. I would hope that the audience walked away feeling entertained and delighted, amused, touched, moved by both the music and the characters. And in that final scene, which is one of the most profound moments in opera, both musically and dramatically, and I hope people will be laughing but maybe have a tear in their eye. <laughs>